Hi everyone, welcome to week eight of Adventures in Grocery Land, $21 per person budget. There are two of us, so our budget is $42 combined. We strive to use coupons, um, points to redeem to boost what we're able to get for that uh, $42 cash to a bit more. So if you can believe this, it doesn't look like much on the counter this week, um, but this uh, was our $42 budget, um, plus I redeemed $20 worth of points. So let's get started. Even though I have one full dozen eggs left over from last week, uh, eggs were on for $1.97 at Walmart this week, and I just thought that was a great price. Um, it's it's a cheap protein for us. I can use it in baking if I need to. Plus, we can have meals. So I am really trying to focus on what we can have and still allocate quite a substantial portion um, towards Christmas supplies. Giant Tiger had 750 grams of lean ground beef on for five dollars this week. Um, I was contemplating getting two packages of it, uh, but with the rest of the stuff that I wanted to get, it, it was only in the budget for one. So I actually split it up. Um, it's it's about three quarters of a pound um, per pack, but that'll be fine for all of the recipes that we're using. And good news, I got a Christmas ham. Uh, my entire family gets together for Christmas, so it needed to be quite a substantial uh, size ham. I'm all, I always bring the ham, so the ham was on for $1.99 a pound, um, and this cost $17.55, and we have 4.044 kgs, which is, I'm going to say, close to 10 pounds. So a 10 pound ham, $17. Um, I did not redeem points for that. I actually paid for that. That was at Foodland. And at the same time, I got nacho chips and they were on for $2.50. So Foodland for the win this week. Uh, I went to Avery's. So Avery's is a local, um, like a farmer's market. And they had Hot host tomatoes on for 99 cents a pound, and they had cabbage on for uh, 60, 77 cents a pound. So I paid a total of $1.45 for those tomatoes and 67 cents for the cabbage. And now this is where my points redemption started, and a little um, bit of an odd scenario here. So I wanted to get some of the cheese that. Superstore had on the for members. So um, if you're a PC Optima member last week, you could get them for $2.99. And that was the no name brand. So I fully intended to get two bricks of no name brand cheese, which I did. Why do I have this cheese? Um, well, a family member bought some cheese and they're not partial um, to this brand. I can't taste a difference, so I asked them if they would mind having the no-name brand, and if they didn't, we could just trade. To me, cheese is cheese. It's the same amount, 400 grams for the pack. So I have this brand, and they have the two um, that I redeemed points for. And I also got, oh, I have them backwards. I also have... Um, two packages of cream cheese, which we're gonna need for some of the dips that we wanna make. So the cream cheese, and this is my preferred kind. I've had other kinds in the past, but I do prefer this lactose-free cream cheese. Um, they were on two for $6. These were $2.99 a piece, the no-name brand that I traded. Um, I redeemed $10 at the Atlantic Superstore, and so for those four items, I ended up paying $1.98. Uh, Shoppers Drug Mart is also um, a location where I can redeem Shoppers or PC Optimum points. It used to be Shoppers Optimum, now it's PC Optimum, the two programs combined. Um, and we bought some treats. Uh, we got Doritos and they were two for five dollars. Um, we got icing sugar, which we need for some of the recipes. And I got popcorn. Um, because one of the things that we, I think that we miss the most is just having some options for snacks in the night other than baked goods that I make myself. Um, so these were two for $5, $1.99 and $1.99. And so I actually got all of that stuff totally for free. I have started transitioning items um, 
into the budget so allocating a dollar value uh, just to get some of my own personal items that I had prior to doing um, my adventures getting them used up so I've transitioned um, these noodles uh, you've probably are familiar with them I've actually used them a couple times um, in the challenge we we eat a lot of lo mein and we like to have stir fries with them um, and I allocated a dollar forty nine um, this is Compliments Lean Ground Pork. Um, this was $5, and with the $2 off sticker, it made it $3. Uh, corn, $1.98. And then these are items that we have had in the freezer since July of 2021. Um, we have some meatballs. And I actually, I'm not sure exactly what the weight is of these, um, but I'm pretty frugal and I have a, a don't buy over dollar value um, for a lot of different items. Like I never pay over $1.99 for frozen vegetables. Um, I would never pay over $4.99 for cheese and all the better if it's $3.99 or even something crazy like last week's special, $2.99. And I never pay over never pay over $3.99 a pound um, for lean ground beef. And actually, I hardly ever buy it at that price. That's just uh, if I'm stuck and I really need it, and that's the that's what the sale is. Um, I much prefer it if it if I can get it for three forty nine or two ninety nine a pound. That's not as common, um, but it does happen. And so I know that we made these meatballs back in the summer when there was a big special on um, lean ground beef. So I'm for all of these packs, these three packs, I'm allocating five dollars. I am also merging these dilt carrots. Um, into our budget. I'm not alloc allocating a dollar value to them. Um, I made these and I like to have them as snacks. Um, they're really tasty and like I said, we're, we're light on our snack food. Now let's talk a little bit about these. Um, I'm not sure if wherever you are, you've been impacted by any shortages in stores. Um, through any environmental reasons, uh, maybe flooding, or maybe it's simply transportation issues, um, or maybe it's some companies that are going on strike. But you've probably noticed uh, the last two weeks that I have had on my wish list for Christmas, um, Rice Krispies, and I was totally willing to pay for them, watch for them on sale. Uh, the problem is, is the shelves were bare. Um, none of the stores have Rice Krispies, whether they are actually made by Kellogg's or whether they are store brand they're simply the shelves have been bare for weeks and weeks and weeks so I just kind of put it out there in the universe <laughs> aka my circle of people um, that I was looking really hard for Rice Krispies didn't matter what kind I needed them for a recipe I was willing to trade and I actually um, was given both of these um, with no expectation for anything back. However, we are going to gift some of the goodies that we make as a thank you for giving these to me. So I thought that that was really kind and definitely deserves a shout out. Um, two different people, when they heard that I was looking for these, came in with them. Anyways, I thought that was uh, super awesome. So lots of items. Um, my total this week was $42.59. So that is hard cash plus the dollar values that I've allocated to this, 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 and these. And I redeemed 20 of the $40 worth of points that I had, 10 at the Atlantic Superstore, chips, yay, um, and some other things for snacks, and $10 at the Atlantic Superstore. I think we're doing very well. I'm looking forward to what I'm going to make with some of these ingredients. Oh, and one more thing. I didn't use any gas coupons this week. Um, I'm hoarding them. I There's one ingredient that I, I wasn't able to get and I want it. And I actually want it for a meal that we're making this week. Um, so I am going to redeem some of my gas coupons. I need to get some taco shells because uh, I want to have tacos on Taco Tuesday. The Christmas get list is getting smaller and smaller of the things that I want to get. Um, the only things left on there are butterscotch chips, frozen spinach, crab meat, ranch dip mix, and crackers. And the butterscotch chips, um, there's a supply issue with them as well. Same as with the Rice Krispies. Um, 
I would have easily budgeted them in uh, this week, just leaving something else out that I would have needed to, like one in, one out, um, but no stores have them. Uh, I haven't been able to find them anywhere, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get them before Christmas, um, not for lack of trying. And now I have one more thing that I need everybody's help with, and it's with this stuff. Um, so I live a pretty frugal life, but I also try to eat as healthy as I possibly can. Uh, you've probably noticed over the weeks that I don't have a lot of processed foods. Um, we buy a lot of just whole food and then we make recipes or we cook it. Um, a few things in there, not going to lie, chips, cheese whiz, <laughs> those aren't very good for me. But in the grand scheme of things, um, I eat pretty clean. And I eat a lot of these products here. These are out of my existing pantry. Um, and I'm wondering how to transition this stuff into the adventure that I'm already doing. Um, and I've been giving it a lot of thought. And one of the ways that I thought that I could do it is forget about all of these products. Um, some of them are old, half used, three quarter used. Like, not much left in that jar. Um, and possibly go with some brand new items, uh, which we have decided to do. So the other half decided to have a home party. Um, everything's all online now. So ever since COVID, there hasn't been a lot of home parties, whether they're Tupperware or Pamper Chef or whatever you go to, to a home party. Um, these products are Epicure. So um, he had an online party. And as with all parties, um, there are rewards based on what your party sales are. So he's in the process of picking out um, the items that he wants to get as his free items. Uh, they're probably not going to come in before Christmas, but when they do come in after Christmas, 100%, we are going to be transitioning all of them into um, available supplies for us since he indeed did get them for free. Um, but my question to everybody is, what should I do with this stuff? And there's there's just so much more than what you see here in these packages. Um, these are all of the actual spices, but the, the meal solutions, I just, way too many for me to set out. Um, I really would love your suggestions on how to transition this stuff in. I want to be mindful of what I'm trying to do. This is an adventure and I am keeping within a certain dollar budget. Um, but we haven't been using anything from our original pre-existing adventures. Nothing from our pre-existing supplies except for those items that I made myself. Uh, the syrup, the jams, um, the salsa. So... Please, please give me your feedback. What are your thoughts? What is a way that I can realistically transition this in and, and start being able to use some of these products I already own? Looking forward for your feedback. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate all the comments, all the support. Um, this can be a really tough time of year and doing this and maybe giving a few ideas might help lessen the burden. Um, not just for us, we actually were able to enjoy a um, a treat over the weekend um, because of all of the hard work that I've been doing and focused on our budget we actually went to the movies twice uh, they had a BOGO on movie tickets so we were gonna go once and when I realized that they had the the buy one get one um, free ticket offer on we ended up going two times and spending the same amount of money that we were going to spend on one night and we had an amazing time we saw some fun movies and it was really nice um, to get out thanks so much for watching if you like the videos um, please hit that subscribe button